What's up, everybody? Thank you for joining me here on Revisiting NBA 2K14, the Michael Jordan career rebuild. Let's take a look at the Chicago Bulls roster from 1985. The two main players, the two main scorers, Michael Jordan and the slasher, Orlando Woolridge. You've also got Steve Johnson at the power forward, Dave Greenwood, Dave Corazine, Quentin Daly, Sidney Green, Wes Matthews, Caldwell Jones, Rod Higgins, Ennis Watley, and Jawan Oldham. Breaking it down by position, there's your point guards, Wes Matthews and Watley, Jordan at the two, Quentin Daly backing him up, Orlando Woolridge at the three with Rod Higgins backing him up, Steve Johnson, Dave Greenwood, and Sidney Green at the four, and Dave Corazine, Caldwell Jones, and Jawan Oldham at the five. Taking a look around the league in 85, we've got the 76ers with Moses Malone, Julius Irving, Maurice Cheeks, and a rookie, Charles Barkley. Portland Trailblazers, Kiki Vandeweghe, a young Drexler, Jim Paxson, the second pick in the draft, Sam Bowie, Javon Curse or Jerome Kersey, excuse me. Michael Thompson, Clay Thompson's father, and that's it, Steve Coulter. The Milwaukee Bucks were a tough squad, led by Sidney Moncrief, a player who Jordan had said in some interviews how he respected him and looked up to Sidney Moncrief. Terry Cummings, Alton Lister, and Ricky Pierce. Mike Dunleavy, who ended up being a coach during the 2000s, and that sharpshooter, Craig Hodges, who ended up on the Bulls in the later years. Larry Bird and the Celtics with Kevin McHale, Robert Parrish, Dennis Johnson, Cornbread Maxwell, Danny Ainge is down here, Quinn Buckner, Dominique Wilkins and Doc Rivers on the Atlanta Hawks, Adrian Dantley and Darrell Griffith, on the Utah Jazz with Mark Eaton, Reggie Theus on the Kansas City Kings, Bernard King and Daryl Walker on the Knicks, Trent Tucker down here as well, the Showtime Lakers with Magic Johnson, Kareem, Worthy, Scott, Cooper, McAdoo, Rambus, Ch Cupcheck, I mean, great squad. Mark Aguirre, Ronaldo Blackman, Dale Ellis, Sam Perkins, Derek Harper. Dallas looks like to, a tough team as well. Michael Ray Richardson on the Nets. Alex English and Fat Lever on the Denver Nuggets. We've got the Detroit Pistons with Isaiah Thomas, Bill Lambeer, Vinnie Johnson. No Joe Dumars yet. No Dennis Rodman. No Adrian Dantley. So, um... Coming together, but not quite the bad boy Pistons that we all know and love. We've got the Houston Rockets with Akeem Olajuwon, Ralph Sampson, Lionel Hollins, John Lucas, Rodney McRae. Um, we'll see how this Twin Towers roster plays out, reliving this history. George Gervin, Alvin Robertson on the Spurs. Walter Davis, Larry Nance with the Phoenix Suns. Tom Chambers, Gerald Henderson Sr., Jack Sigma, Frank Burkowski. Seattle's looking good. Nothing too, too crazy, but a couple notable players there. And we've got the Washington Bullets with Jeff Ruland and Jeff Malone. Before we get started, I'd like to take a look at the rosters really quick. Check the expiring contracts. See what's going on as we get closer to the trade deadline and the re-sign deadline. Uh, I like to trade off expiring contracts, try to get some value in return, some draft picks or a, you know, better player, role player, etc. to help the team. So looking at contract extensions, we got three guys undecided on re-signing. So we'll keep an eye on that as the season goes along and uh, probably trade these guys off for some draft picks because they're not the greatest players in the world. Expiring contracts, another team might find value in them and give up a uh, nice little treasure trove to acquire them. So we'll keep an eye on that. 
as far as the power rankings, we are the worst team in the league. I believe we have a 81 overall ranking, so not very good. So let's get through this first half of the season and we'll see what's going on. Okay, so after 15 games in the 84-85 season, the Chicago Bulls have jumped nine places in the power rankings, are one game back in the Central Division, three games back in the conference, with Jordan picking up both Player of the Week and Rookie of the Month nominations. Terrible news, terrible news. Injury notice. The Bulls have a player who has sustained an injury. Michael Jordan, broken toe, four to six weeks. What is this going to do to the roster? What is this going to do to our record? Let's find out. All right, so 30 games in, we are at 20 and 10. Power ranking slipped just a little bit down to 17th. Leading the Central Division and four games back in the Eastern Conference at third place. Jordan picked up another Player of the Week, Rookie of the Month, as well as Player of the Month for the month of December, despite that broken toe. Looking at the MVP race, Larry Bird, Ralph Sampson, Darrell Griffith, Magic Johnson, and Moses Malone. Rookie of the Year, Jordan ahead of Akeem. Six man Mike Woodson, Jim Paxson, John Lucas, Bob McAdoo, Dale Ellis, and Defensive Player of the Year for Akeem Olajuwon, Ralph Sampson, Larry Bird, Steve Stepanovich, and Artis Gilmore. And looking at all star numbers, Michael Jordan is leading the league in votes for the East, with Magic Johnson leading the West. All right, so in the third week of December, Jordan is back from an injury. Toe is all healed, ready to go. So we're gonna get him back in the rotation to see how this helps turn around that bull slide in the division. All right, so let's go ahead and simulate up to the All-Star weekend and see what we can get going for this team. See if we can turn around this win-loss record. All right, so coming in, checking out the roster seeing about these contract extensions dave greenwood looks like he's made his decision and would like to re-sign let's look at his stats and see what he's bringing to the table so 23 minutes a game 5.5 points a game and six and a half rebounds it's not a lot coming from a guy that was getting 34 minutes a game and giving me 12 um not a lot of production here i like to look at the most recent games single digit score not a lot going on there not bad but um you know i feel like i could get some value for him on the trade market and get some um assets in return and get a guy in there that can do the same thing uh 20 minutes a game five points i mean doesn't seem like a lot seems like there's a handful of guys that can do that so Let's check and see what we can get for him on the trade market. Might not trade yet until the trade deadline, but let's see what we can get. All right, so with the upcoming free agent, Dave Greenwood, we're looking to trade him off to get something of value in return. Proposing a trade with the Hawks here for Scott Hastings and a first round pick. Let's see if they'll go for it. Not interested, counter offer. They want my second round pick. I'm okay with that. I'll take your first round for a second round pick all day. Then I'll get Scott Hastings, who is producing. He only plays five minutes a game. I'm sure he can step up and do what Greenwood is doing if given the opportunity. So there you have it. Scott Hastings, welcome to the Bulls. Dave Greenwood, thank you for your service. And now we have that first round draft pick. Um, to play with so the roster is looking like this Wes Matthews Ennis Watley Michael Jordan Quentin Daly Woolridge Higgins Sidney Green Scott Hastings and an injured Steve Johnson as my starting power forward so he'll be back Dave Corzine as the center Caldwell Jones and Jawan Oldham so and we've also got this current uh, first round draft pick. 
So um, an extra first round draft pick there. All right, at All-Star break, we're gonna look at the award races. Larry Bird, Darrell Griffith, Ralph Sampson, Magic, and Moses still in that MVP conversation. Jordan still holding it down at the rook as rookie of the year leader. Mike Woodson still here at six man and Akeem at the defensive player of the year. I'm wondering how that injury kind of derailed Jordan being able to be in the MVP race. Looking at players of the week. Did Jordan get another player of the week? He did in the month of February, another player of the week nomination. All right, so taking a look at the all-star selections for the 85 all-star game, Michael Jordan with his first appearance, Isaiah Thomas, Larry Bird, Bernard King, Dominique Wilkins, Darrell Walker, World Be Free, Albert King, Terry Cummings, Moses Malone, and Robert Parrish for the East. And out of the West, we've got Magic Johnson, George Gervin, Adrian Dantley, Ralph Sampson, Alex English, Norm Nixon, Darrell Griffith, Purvis Short, Tom Chambers, Akeem Olajuwon, and Kareem with his 15th All-Star appearance. For the slam dunk competition, we've got Michael Jordan, Dominique Wilkins, Darrell Griffith, and Clyde Drexler. And for the three-point competition, we've got Darrell Griffith, competing in both events very cool larry bird mike evans michael cooper billy knight and john lucas so daryl griffith wins the slam dunk contest bird takes home the three-point championship and the east blow past the western all-stars 97 and 92 box scores here All right, so Wes Matthews is also undecided in whether he wants to re-sign with the Bulls. Now, again, all power to him if he wants to go play somewhere else, doesn't know if he wants to re-sign, that's fine. But we've got to do what's best for business. So I'm going to put him up on the trade block, see what we can get. If we can get a first round draft pick out of this. Just saw a deal here with the Dallas Mavericks, giving us Charles Sitton. But there was also a deal from the Spurs, David Third Kill, and a first round pick. Definitely going to take that deal. Let's see what else they got out there. Nope. Would almost like to get Steve Coulter, but. All right. So we're going to trade David Third Kill and a, or trade Wes Matthews to the Spurs for David Third Kill and a first round draft pick. All right. So with Wes Matthews expiring contract. And he's unsure if he wants to re-sign with our team. Instead of losing him to free agency, we're going to trade off, try to find a trade. David Third Kill and this first round draft pick from the Spurs for Wes Matthews. Let's see if the Spurs will go for it. And they did. Wes Matthews, again, thank you for your service. David Third Kill, welcome to the Bulls. All right, so after the trade, the roster is looking like this. Ennis Watley is a starting point guard. Michael Jordan, Quentin Daly, Orlando Woolridge, Rod Higgins, David Third Kill at the three. Steve Johnson starting, but he's out injured. Sidney Green, Scott Hastings at the four. And then Dave Corzine, Caldwell Jones, and Jawan Oldham at the five. And our draft picks are looking like two first round draft picks this year and a second round draft pick and two first round picks next year no second round draft picks so starting to stockpile those trade our draft picks and looks like we need to pick up a point guard backup point guard i got one more guy scooter mccray i'm gonna sign him three-year deal and we will pick up a whoever the highest rated point guard is defender and who can shoot Warwick is a B minus on both 
So we're going to pick up Brian Warwick, 25 years old, played for the Bullets. Welcome to the Bulls, sir. One-year deal. Team option. I mean, if you want to come back, you can come back. How about that? So after making a couple of moves, we've got the roster refilled. Brian Warwick off the free agency. Ennis Watley starting. Jordan Daly, Woolridge, Scooter McRae at the backup for the three. Rod Higgins, David Thirdkill, Sidney Green, Scott Hastings with the starting power forward out injured. Steve Johnson, Dave Corzine, Caldwell Jones, Juwan Oldham, and then two future uh, first round draft picks. This current draft, two first round draft picks and a second round draft pick. So looking good. Let's simulate the rest of the season and see what we can get accomplished in the off season. See if we make these playoffs. All right, so with the season awards, Larry Bird did indeed end up as MVP of the 84-85 season with Jordan taking home Rookie of the Year, Mike Woodson as Sixth Man of the Year, and Rob Sampson as the Defensive Player of the Year. So shout out to them for, doing, for those awards. All NBA first team, Michael Jordan makes it, Isaiah Thomas, Larry Bird, Dominique Wilkins, and Moses Malone. Second team, Daryl Griffith, Fat Lever, Adrian Dantley, Terry Cummings, and Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. And third team with George Gervin, World Be Free, Purvis Short, Mark Aguirre, and Akeem Olajuwon. All defensive team, Fat Lever, T.R. Dunn, Ralph Sampson, Larry Bird, Akeem, Daryl Walker, George Gervin, Clark Kellogg, Cliff Robinson, and Steve Stepanovich. And then all rookie first team, Michael Jordan, Akeem, Otis Thorpe, Barkley, Vern Fleming, and Sam Perkins, Bowie, Kevin Willis, Terrence Stansberry, and Alvin Robertson as the all rookie second team. So shout out to those guys and congratulations to them for their outstanding play in the 84-85 season. All right, so here's a look at the playoff bracket. Some tough teams that we looked at earlier, the Dallas Mavericks, um, Houston Rockets with the Twin Towers, Showtime Lakers over there, Boston Celtics, early version of the Bad Boy Pistons, um, and Barkley, Dr. J, Moses Malone over there on Philadelphia. So let's see what the Bulls got. Simulate this round. Yes, Dave, we need you back, sir. Glad to have you back. All right, Bulls made it to the first round, made it through the first round to play against the Detroit Pistons in the second round of the playoffs. Let's look at these box scores really quick. Brian Warwick, the free agent I picked up after I traded away. Wes Matthews came through big in game one with 28 points. Jordan followed that up with 25. Orlando Woolridge with 21. So this is solid, solid scoring from my uh from three guys there. Let's see, game two. Jordan with 41 in game two. Warwick with, follows it up with 16 and Woolridge with 12. And in game three, Orlando Woolridge comes through leading the league with 25 points. Jordan with 15, Warwick with 13. And in the closeout game, game four, Michael Jordan leads the way with 24 points. Warwick with 19 and Woolridge with 18. All right, on to the second round of the playoffs. We're going to go game by game because it's too it goes too fast. Bulls take game 1. Bulls take game 2. 2-0 lead. Let's go Bulls. 
3-0 lead against the Detroit Pistons, rewriting history. No problem. The Detroit Pistons are no problem for the Chicago Bulls and Michael Jordan. Let's keep it going, Bulls. On to the next round. What a great matchup we're going to have here. Dr. J versus Michael Jordan. Charles Barkley versus Jordan. This is crazy early on in their careers. So let's finish the round. Jazz versus Denver over here. And let's simulate that first game. Chicago takes it. Second game, Philadelphia. Third game, Philly, 2-1 lead. 2-2, Bulls tied it up 2-2. Philadelphia with the closeout game here in game six. And oh my gosh, the Bulls get eliminated. Moving on to the finals are the Philadelphia 76ers versus the Utah Jazz. Let's look at this box score really quick. Game one. Man, Brian Warwick is a beast. I'm keeping that dude for sure. Uh, Michael Jordan with 18. Orlando Woolridge, but again, led by the free agent pickup, 25-year-old Brian Warwick. And um, yeah, grateful for him. Got us to the conference championship with great play. Jordan with 19, Woolridge with 16. War Warwick, Warwick, Warwick with 14 uh let's see that closeout game game six moses malone with 27 irving with 26 barkley with 15 and what did the bulls have so jordan with 22 woolridge with 19 warwick with 19 so you know first year rookie great showing great showing from a team who last year won less than uh 32 games they won i mean i was i i improved the team's record by 25 so it wasn't a total loss and uh you know it was a, it was a great run made some roster changes found a diamond in the rough with uh brian warwick and yeah let's see who wins the finals here game one goes to the jazz moses malone with 26 tony with 17 julius irving only had eight Barkley had six. Come on, Charles. You got to step it up, brother. All right, 29 for Bailey. Adrian Dantley with 24. And the slam dunk champion, Daryl Griffith with 12. Mark Eaton holding him down with eight and three blocks. So let's move on to game two. Philadelphia takes that back. Let's look at that box score really quick. Game two, Irving with 22, Malone with 18, Barkley with 10. Charles, you got to step it up, bro. Game two. Look at that box score. Game three, excuse me. Adrian Danley with 30 points, Darrell Griffith, Daryl Griffith with 21. And let's see what the Jet or what the Sixers did. Barkley with seven. Like, you're not showing up, Charles. You got to show up, man. Get yourself a championship in your rookie year. See what happens. 17, 16, 12. And the 76ers, Irving leading the way with 24. Moses Malone with 15. And Charles Barkley almost scored in single digits again. But he did pull down 11 rebounds. So let's go and see. Next game. Philadelphia takes it. Dantley with 30. Daryl Griffith with 22. Eaton with 8, 9, and 1 block. And the 76ers. Malone with 20. Barkley finally showing up a little bit with 15. Irving able to take the back seat here with 14. And with the 76ers and a closeout game, can they rewrite history and get Charles Barkley a championship and get another championship for dr j and the 76ers have won the nba championship for the 84 85 season charles barkley forever an nba champion in this reality
So shout out to the Philadelphia 76ers. Moses Malone with 29. Irving with 20, 23. Barkley pulled down 10. Six rebounds, four assists, two blocks. Shot well. Um, but yeah, what a crazy, crazy season. And uh, wow. Moses Malone gets finals MVP. 22 points, 13 rebounds, one assist, two blocks a game. 45% on the field goals. So yeah, good job, Moses. Player progression. Let's take a look at the Bulls. Jordan jumps up three points. Woolridge jumps up two. Sydney Green, Quentin Daly. Man, my boy Peter or uh, Peter Warwick, uh, Brian Warwick. I was gonna say, give him a little boost as well. Rod Higgins, everybody, man, everybody, unless they were older, right? This guy's 34. Dave Corzine's 30. Like, I don't think they gave you any boost, you know, after. Um, you hit a certain age but everybody improved good job to the team let's look at this draft lottery so you can disregard everything on the left side because those are all the expansion teams that didn't exist back in the day so the first pick is actually going to be the eighth pick and uh looks like the warriors have the best chance to get the first pick in the draft so let's see what happens all right so there you have it Warriors with the first pick in the draft. So the Bulls are going to be picking 13th pick in the draft and the 14th pick in the draft. Good evening and welcome everyone to the 2014 NBA draft. Tonight is the culmination of the efforts for some of the world's most talented young basketball players. It's a time for their dreams to be realized and to be welcomed into the elite group of players that make up the NBA. We thank all of you for joining us on this exciting night, whether you are watching on television or following along online. And finally, a big thanks to all the fans here for providing this wonderful atmosphere. Now, let's get underway. All right, so here we are with the first pick in the NBA draft. The eighth pick in the NBA draft. The Golden State Warriors select Terry Porter. Terry Porter with the first pick in the draft to the Golden State Warriors. Crazy. All right, so the Cavaliers have presented the Bulls with a trade offer. Give me the second pick in the draft and John Bagley for Orlando Woolridge. Oof. You know, I can't pass that up. I really can't pass it up. I'll probably trade John Bagley off, but I mean, like, Woolridge did end up getting traded from the Bulls, so I'm going to uh, lick. I'm gonna play that out in the history of the game. Um, let me look it up really quick to see what. When did Orlando Woolridge? They're gonna give me the second pick in the draft, and John Bagley. A 71 year old 70, 71 overall point guard for Orlando Woolridge. Okay, Woolridge is a high flyer, athletic dunker, not a huge shooter. Um, and he did only play for the Bulls for like three or four years, was drafted to the Bulls, but only played for a few years with the Bulls. Didn't really compliment Jordan's style very much, so they ended up getting rid of him. So I will accept this trade offer. And um, I'll accept this trade offer and let's go ahead. Now they offered this trade. They said they don't want to lose a point guard right now. Do I want to force them? This is why I set uh, force trades on because I've had multiple people offer me trades. Then you go to the trade screen and they say they don't want to lose their point guard. I'm not doing that. So yes, we're going to force them. And the trade has been accepted. The Bulls are on the clock with the second pick in the NBA draft for the 1985-86 draft. Oh my gosh, this is exciting. Let's look through and see who the prospects are right now. Top five, Michael Adams at point guard. Patrick Ewing, I can get Carl Malone. Chris Mullen, 
I do need a new small forward. Man. I've also got those other two draft picks in this draft. So um, as much as I'd like to take Patrick Ewing and him and Jordan team up, I feel like having Chris Mullen out there is going to be the move. And I believe Carl Malone would be a great addition too, except Charles Oakley is in this draft. Shrimp is in this draft. Might even be able to pull Mario Ellie as a backup too. But I don't really need to do that. I'm a new bowl. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and take Chris Mullen with the second pick in the NBA draft. Number 17. With the ninth pick in the NBA draft. Oh my the gosh. Bulls select Chris Mullen. So I'll take him. He'll complement the team a lot better than uh, Orlando Woolridge and compliment Jordan's play style. So they're trying to give me two first round picks for Chris Mullen. I'm not doing it. Not doing it. So I could get Carl Malone or I could get uh, I could get Carl Malone or Patrick Ewing, but not doing it. With the 10th pick in the NBA draft, Patrick Ewing. Patrick Ewing goes to the Sonics. Amazing. Amazing. With the 11th pick in the NBA draft, California selects the 20-year-old big man. With the 12th pick in the NBA draft, the Indiana Pacers select Bill Winnington. We have a trade to announce. So Ewing's going to get traded. So a, tra a draft trade. So a draft day trade has been announced. The 13th pick will be going to the Seattle Supersonics for Patrick Ewing and a second round Supersonics draft pick. With the 13th pick in the NBA draft, the 22 year old shooting guard. Joe Dumars goes to Seattle. Nice. With the 14th pick in the NBA draft, the Los Angeles Clippers select the 19 year old center. With the 15th pick in the NBA draft, the New York Knicks select Carl Malone. Malone, nice. Goes to the Knicks. With the 16th pick in the NBA draft, the Detroit Pistons select Michael Adams. Okay, solid pick. We have a trade to announce. So the Bucks are giving up their 17th. We got another draft day trade. We got another draft day trade to announce the 17th pick and the second round Bucks pick for Charles Jones to the Phoenix Suns. So the Phoenix Suns are going to pick now. With the 17th pick in the NBA draft, the Phoenix Suns select the 20 year old point guard. Bud Webb to the Phoenix Suns. Interesting. With the 18th pick in the NBA draft, the Dallas Mavericks select John Battle. With the 19th pick in the NBA draft, John Williams. And the Bulls are on the clock. All right, so I put John Bagley in the trade finder. Looks like we got a we got a uh, an offer here. So it's going to be Steve Coulter and the first twenty fourth pick in this draft for John Bagley. We're going to accept this trade. I'm going to go ahead and repeat history and draft Charles Oakley. He's a player that the um, 
that was drafted to the Bulls. With the 20th pick and, uh, in the NBA draft, the Chicago Bulls We will relive history. So we got back-to-back -back drafts here. Elston Turner, second round draft pick for the 21st pick in the draft. Um, I'm gonna decline that trade. I'm gonna take uh, Detlef Shrimp. With the 21st pick. And three more NBA picks, draft, I will pick Manu the Bull. Chicago Bulls select the 20 year old power forward. With the 22nd pick in the NBA draft, the Denver Nuggets select Xavier McDaniel. Nice. With the 23rd pick in the NBA draft, New Jersey selects Sam Vincent. All right, so now I'm back up on the draft. I'm back up on the board. Going to see what I can get for my draft pick. All right, so I'm going to give the Dallas Mavericks my pick so I can have two picks for next year, a first round and a second round pick for next year. And... Um, We will see. All right. I was going to grab a new bowl, but I just don't. The Dallas my bigs are really. Mark Davis. My bigs on my team are really kind of uh, secondary. Like, I don't really in the NBA draft, just need the good San defensive Antonio guys. The 21 year old center. With the 26th pick in the NBA draft, the Houston Rockets select the 22 year old power forward. No Mark Davis yet. With the 27th pick in the NBA draft, the Los Angeles Lakers select. Sam Mitchell. With the 28th pick in the NBA draft, the Utah Jazz select the 23-year-old small forward. I hope Boston gets Manu. With the 29th pick in the NBA draft, the Boston Celtics select A.C. Green. Oh, classic. He went to the Lakers, so it's kind of ironic, right? And the 30th pick in the NBA draft, the Philadelphia 76ers select the 23-year-old power forward. We have reached the end of the first round of the 2014 NBA draft. Thank you to all the NBA fans here in New York and all across the world. The second round of the NBA draft is just moments away. Back in a moment. With the 38th pick in the NBA draft, the Golden State Warriors select the 22-year-old big man. Manute Bowl went to the Golden State Warriors. First pick of the second With round. The 39th pick in the NBA draft. The Cleveland Cavaliers select the 20-year-old power forward. With the 40th pick in the NBA draft, Fernando Martin. Can't do it. With the 41st pick in the NBA draft, California selects Keith Lee. With the 42nd pick in the NBA draft, the New York Knicks select Gerald Wilkins. Nice. He actually did go to the Knicks. With the 43rd pick in the NBA draft, the Indiana Pacers select Pete Williams. With the 44th pick in the NBA draft, the Detroit Pistons select Steve Harris. With the 45th pick in the NBA draft, the Milwaukee Bucks select 
the 21-year-old shooting guard. With the 46th pick in the NBA draft, the Phoenix Suns select the 21-year-old center. With the 47th pick in the NBA draft, the Los Angeles Clippers select the 20-year-old big man. With the 48th pick in the NBA draft, the Dallas Mavericks select Mike Brown. With the 49th pick in the NBA draft, the 23-year-old point guard. All right, so the Bulls are on the clock. Let's look at the prospects really quick. Um... Don't recognize any of these names. Bill Martin, maybe. Scott Roth, recognize him. But it's pretty washed out here. Let's see if I can get a trade for this, uh, this pick. Get my second round pick back from uh, the Hawks. Keith Lee, power forward, don't really need that. So, best thing I'm going to do is get a second round pick from a another team. So I will go ahead and just take the first, second round pick from the Clippers. I feel like the Clippers are a pretty bad team. And uh, all right, so the Clippers get another pick in this draft. With the 50th pick in the NBA draft. Oh, I didn't even think about Jerry Reynolds. Give me a second round pick for Jerry Jawan Oldham. Yes, I'll accept that. And then I'll try to trade for uh I'm gonna just accept this Knicks. Give them another second round pick. With the 56th pick in the NBA draft, the New York Knicks select. Delaney Rudd, Michael Phelps. And that is the draft, folks. George Gervin was originally on the Bulls. I'm going to try to sign him to a multi-year deal with a player option. You come back. And I'm going to bump it up to about $11 million a year. All right, so I got an offer out to him. I'm going to put an offer out to Kyle Macy, sharpshooter. Give him a three-year deal. Exactly what he's asking for. 
And uh, Steve Johnson went out, wanted to go test the free agency, so I'm not bringing him back. Rick Mahorn, is, I'm gonna put a. Uh, just a defensive presence as a five. Um, and see what, what comes up. George Gervin signed. All right. So now we got a backup two, a solid backup two, and small forward. Kyle Macy decided to go with the Blazers. Macy was actually on the Bulls at one point, so um, lost that one, but that's all right. Rick Mahorn decided to sign, so we've got our two guard backup, and we've got some help on the low post who else do I have do I have prospects here or what alright so season 2 is looking like this Jordan switched over to point and then I have him run point guard George Gervin running the 2 signed him historically he did get signed to the Bulls I believe this season so we are reliving that history um, we drafted Chris Mullen. He'll be our starting three. Charles Oakley, again, historically got drafted to the Chicago Bulls. So we are reliving the historical uh, precedent of having Charles Oakley as the four. And then Rick Mahorn was brought in as a free agent to start at the center position. And we also have started stockpiling draft picks. So we've got our draft pick the Mavericks and the Spurs first round we've got the Clippers Knicks and Mavericks second round picks and then our future first and second round picks so this is the roster Michael Jordan at the point arguably he had a great season when he was playing the point guard there's a video on YouTube about it I'll link it in the description talking about his historical run as the point guard um, and how things could have been differently for his career and um, earlier on in his career, if he had run, kept, continued to run point, um, again, prior to the championship years. But here's the squad, and stay tuned for season two. If you like this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, make sure you hit that bell icon, make sure you uh, get the notifications of when I upload new videos or go live. Hit me up in the comment section. Tell me what you think. What kind of trade should I make? What do you think about the roster moves that we made? What players do you remember from this era? Just hit me up in the comment section. Let's get a discussion going. But thank you so much for tuning in. Stay tuned for season two. And we will be back here on revisiting NBA 2K14. The Jordan career rebuild.